I wanted to make this video for people who are attempting to do something outside of the box with their life. Maybe it's something entrepreneurial. Now track with me. I'm going to talk first of all about why do most people fail at most things? For instance, startup businesses, 90% of them, they say fail. Realtors, 87% fail and don't really ever make money doing it. Insurance agents, 90%, maybe even higher, uh, get out of the business very quickly. MLM recruits, 99% fail. High school athletes, the chances of them going pro, uh, or the chances of them failing at going pro, 99.9%. Seven seven percent. Um, ninety eight percent of actors don't make a living acting. A music artist, the chance of failure is pretty much uh, you are going to fail. Um, potential people that are writing it, writing a, a, a novel, they want to produce a novel. A very large percentage of them fail. But is it really about failure? I've heard the quote, people say that um, 95% of people work for the 5% who never quit. So if we look at all of these numbers and we say, well, the people who have the most endurance are the people who are going to succeed. And the people that are soft or lazy or quit end up failing. I think that is a very... Um, inaccurate way of describing what's really happening. I want to draw a picture to help to describe what I think is really happening. So let's look at the world and let's say use a metaphor of, of a beach versus an ocean visual. Now, life in the ocean is uh, requires courage. It requires a real sense of purpose to get you out there. It's about uh, an adventure. And you have to want adventure because so much of the ocean is unknown. Now, the beach over here is about comfort. It's about security. And in this realm, inter things like entertainment are really important. Things like appearance are really important. How do I look in my bathing suit, metaphorically and literally speaking? Now, you'll notice that only about... Um, 3% of people that go off into starting a business, becoming a life coach, becoming an insurance salesman, only about 3% actually have a functioning business where they're making money. Then you have other people you rep see here, about seven people. To me, about 7% of people are striving to be like this. And then notice what you have over here on the beach is about 90% of people that are on the beach. Life is kind of um, in this bubble where we're looking for comfort and security and things like entertainment uh, rule the day. Now, some of these people on the beach, notice by the color I chose, they are people that they do want something more, but... Maybe they're kind of stuck on the beach and don't know how to get into the ocean. Here's what I want you to consider. That many people, like this person right here, they want to become a person that is fully funded as a realtor um, or as a life coach, as a financial coach, you know, fill in the blank. They want to become one of these people. But here's the problem. Look who they're talking to. Their audience, although their audience is everywhere, most of the people in their audience are not wanting what that person is serving. People on the beach are look, looking for comfort and security, some entertainment, maybe some reputation. They're not necessarily looking for someone to help them live intentionally. People living on the beach aren't necessarily looking for someone to sell them insurance. And so these people who are trying to do something with their life that will get them into this position, their audience is a bunch of people that are not 
really interested. So what can happen is these people that boldly go into the ocean full of courage and purpose and they want adventure and they want to build something, they can feel like they're failing. And I, like I said from going over this, I think that's an inaccurate way of looking at it. So these people here, let's talk about them. These people are the people that in, and maybe in our eyes, they've arrived. They appear to be making a lot of money. They appear to be making a big impact. They appear to have a large audience of people. And so we look at them and we say, well, how do I become what that person is? And oftentimes people like this will, will sell courses on how to become what I was. And we can find all kinds of courses like that. And all these people who dwell out here in the ocean trying to get a plan of how to be successful, we can go through course after course after course after course of, of people who are saying, hey, if you just do my course, if you just do my thing, you're going to make money. And the truth is, people, not all people, but a lot of these people will make these courses because they know it is what people are looking for and what they will pay for. So these people are good at looking at their audience and asking the question, what are they looking for? What will they pay for? And so, I'm sorry, this picture is getting messy, but these people right here, Maybe we should look at these people and ask the question, what are they looking for? What will they pay for? How can we serve what they're actually looking for? So I want to give some, just some final thoughts on this. If you're a person who is venturing into the ocean, you're trying to figure out how to, how to make your way. Number one, give yourself grace for the journey. If your goal is to do good in this world, keep trying to do it. Keep doing it. You don't have to measure the value of what you're bringing to the world by the amount of money that is coming to you and what you're doing. If you're helping people with some, uh, whether it's some kind of health uh, category, you're helping people with finances, um, you help people, you don't have to decide that your validity is determined by whether or not what you're doing is producing a full-time income. If you help a human being and it changes their life forever, maybe it doesn't matter if you ever got paid doing that thing. If you've used your life to help one person for a lifetime, who knows the ripple effect of that into other people's lives. Maybe you never need to make another dime doing that thing that you're trying to do. So give yourself grace for the journey so you can keep on doing good in the world. Realize next, most entrepreneurs fail. Shift and try again. These people right here that appear to be the most successful, at one point they were here and then they tried this and then they tried this and they tried this. They kept shifting and at some point some things came together for them, but they failed all the way through. Here's the next important note. Let go of the need for an exact or specific outcome. There's not a specific thing you have to do. You certainly don't have to prove yourself to anybody by creating a certain type of business. You don't have to do that. If you were to open up a restaurant and it, it is a taco restaurant and, and you're really successful and you help people, people love working there. They love bringing their families there to eat. No one's ever going to ask you, but is this the kind of restaurant you wanted to open? 
But you see, no one cares. Let's say that you wanted to open a restaurant eventually at one point, but eventually you started this gym that has these really great um, group workouts for people. And it is helping so many people. And people are like, wow, this is the best gym ever. Your specific goal was to open a restaurant. Something didn't work and so you used the space and you opened up a gym instead. I don't think anyone's gonna look at you and say, well, you failed. This isn't a restaurant, it's a gym. Let go of the need for an exact or specific outcome. Once again, this picture, the people over here living in these boats, I don't think any of them had a specific outcome in mind before they ventured out. They ventured out into something which led to something which led to something and eventually they had enough wood and they built a boat. Next, realize that what you do for a living is not the measure of who you are. You don't have to prove anything to anybody. If you become a a full-time paid realtor or insurance agent, that doesn't make you more of a person. You, you, that, does, that is not your identity. It's not the measure of you. And lastly, look for ways to joyfully use your gift for others. What do you want to do to help people? But also, in, in, if you want to get paid doing it, consider what people want you to to provide for them. You might have some talents and skills that you were not looking to monetize that other people say, wow, uh, I don't know how you do what you do over there. Can you help me with that? That might become something that you, you monetize. Why people want you to help them with that sort of thing. So I hope this helps you. Um, I have a lot of love for people just like this who have the guts to go into the ocean and say, you know, I think my life needs to do something. There's something in my heart. I have so much love and, um, and an understanding for what that's like to be that person. I just want to say to you, the world needs your boldness. The world needs your gift. But give yourself grace for this journey that you're on.